My name is Emily McGilnick. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in December of 2011, and I finished in August 2012, so I've been finished 13 months. I was doing my everyday routine when I found out that I had cancer. I was actually playing a tennis match, and I just had this pain in my leg. I ended up losing a match that I would normally win. That night, we went to the doctor, and they found something, but they didn't think it was really anything, and I ended up getting the biopsy, and I remember waking up from the anesthesia, and I, all I said was, is it cancer? And I was like, yeah. And it just happened like an avalanche. I'm still like, did that really happen? It was intense because I was just studying for an history test that I really wanted to ace, and then that night my parents were saying, you can't go to school, it's too dangerous for you. And I think that's when it really hit me that, oh crap, this is really bad. All of my chemos, the main one I had, you had to stay in the hospital until it was out of your system. And I had that so many times that I would just have one to two days off and then I would just go back in. So it was chemo, weekend at home, resting, getting more energy, then back in the hospital. That was my home for nine months. I felt like I was just stuck in a bed. So, I f and I also felt that, like I would like contaminate stuff as well, and so I just kind of wanted to stay secluded, but one thing that I did do to just relax was I went to a Color Me Mind type place and I painted, and so that was really relaxing for me and I really enjoyed doing that. Some days it feels like it was five years ago, some days it feels like it was just yesterday when I was sitting there ordering food because the hospital food sucked watching every TV show imaginable. <laughs> For the rest of my life, I'm gonna have scans, but it's gonna end up being once a year, but right now it's every three months. But that feels like a lifetime, because it used to be every day. I'm happy I went through it, because I feel like I learned a lot. Now looking back on it, as everyone tells you in the beginning, they say it's just gonna be a bump in the road, and now it, it's still like a large hill, but soon enough it's gonna be a bump. <laughs>